Hey everyone, I'm Jonathan Lynch. Glad you can make it to The Honest Pantry. The chicken came first. I don't know about you guys, but I hate having things lying around in my refrigerator. Especially things I know I can make. So today we're going to be learning how to make mayonnaise. Sorry, I can't help you on how to spell the word. You're going to have to go back to school for that one. It's like my dad always said, if you've got three minutes on your hand, you can make homemade mayonnaise. Eggs and garlic, lemon and red bell pepper, sunflower oil, crushed red pepper and oregano. An aioli, aioli is a garlic flavor mayonnaise, but we are not satisfied with just a garlic flavor mayonnaise. We are going to add roasted red bell pepper. Turn your flame on high and simply place the bell pepper right on top. Once your bell pepper looks like a black widow, get a large container and toss your pepper in. Cover it and let it sit. By keeping it inside, it will help to release the skin very, very easily in the next couple of minutes when it's cool enough to handle. While the bell pepper is cooling off, let's get cracking on this mayonnaise. <laughs> get it because we're cracking eggs. It's a joke. We're going to start off with three cloves of garlic. Smash and chunk. Peel and chunk. Yes, I'm allowed to do that because I'm going to be the one eating the mayonnaise. Give this garlic a quick pulse. You're gonna want two egg yolks and one whole egg. Who ever thought that while you were making mayonnaise, you could make your breakfast for the next morning? Genius. By adding this one egg white, we almost ensure that our mayonnaise will not break or separate during the mixing process. While your eggs are going, the first 20 to 30 seconds is the most crucial part of the mayonnaise making process. We want to slowly, I repeat, slowly drizzle in our sunflower oil. To make sure that you're on the right track, take a peek and if you see that everything is combined together and no oil is separated, keep on whipping. At this point, keep adding oil until you see a creamy mayonnaise form. By George, I think he's got it. If you're paying attention, you'll see that we haven't seasoned or flavored this aioli yet. But with that said, and now that you look beautiful, let's season this bad boy or girl. A little bit of salt, some oregano, some of the red chili flake for that ha, 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 heat. Fresh pepper, I don't even need to look at it. I know exactly where it's going. And some lemon. What lemon is going to do for us in this aioli is brighten everything up. Right now it's a little heavy, so we need to add some citrus to boost the flavor. Give it another quick pulse. And let's go visit our friend, the red bell pepper that's now cool enough to handle. Cue music please for the unveiling. Check this pepper out. It's all wilted and it looks all nasty, but thank goodness we're not eating the skin, silly. Just turn on some running water, place the pepper underneath, and just pick the skin off. It's that simple. Just think of it like the pepper got a really bad sunburn and your hands are the aloe vera, healing it and making it all better. Uh, roasted to perfection. After your pepper is finished taking its sun bath, it's now to bring the whole thing together. Uno, dos, tres, ready, set, go. How much would you pay me if I just drank this right now? And saving plenty for later. Now guys, I get it. There's convenience in buying your own mayonnaise. But I just showed you how simple it is to make your own. And you obviously saw how much mayonnaise I got just by using three eggs. Thankfully, I love mayonnaise, so I will have no problem getting rid of this. If you're like me, just get some crusty bread and have at it. Mmm, mmm, mmm. No artificial anything in it, no preservatives, just eggs and the good stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, that's it for this episode. If you liked it, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And in the comment section below, tell me how much money I would have to pay you to eat five cups of mayonnaise. I'm Jonathan Lynch. We'll see you next Monday. And remember, your kitchen is never complete without the Honest Pantry. <laughs>